So guys, welcome back. We're on the 6th tee here at Peebles Golf Club and what we're going to discuss today is a couple of simple things that you can think about when you're practicing or when you're on the golf course to help de develop your distance and create more speed into impact. So we've got one drill we're going to solely focus on today and it's one of Gigi Swing Tips' drills that if you're a big, big fan of Gigi Swing Tips, follow his stuff on Instagram. The guy's a genius. So we're going to use one of his drills. It's called the Slingshot Drill slingshot drill that's going to help you develop the feeling into impact and how we use the body and the arms efficiently so as we'll talk about this golf swing is kind of a rotational move but what we need to do on the backswing is transfer weight into our trail foot we store that power and then release that power but how do we do that so we all kind of talk about when we get to the club to the top of the backswing what happens is the left hip moves first then the shoulders so the hips move before the shoulders that's how we create that power so what I want you to do is try this feeling so this is a slingshot drill and what I mean by that is we transfer weight into our right side and what happens is feel like our left arm is pressing against our chest so as we start down this is solely just the downswing so if we get our lower body to start the downswing first I want you to feel like your left arm stays across your chest for longer but this is the mistake a lot of golfers make, so they'll keep the left arm across the chest. But what happen? What will happen is their chest moves down the way naturally as the club approaches impact, and their left arm moves down the way as well. And we get kind of the club going down into the ground and not a lot of power as we come through impact. So what's going to happen naturally here is when we get to the club to the top of the batswing, our left arm stays across our chest, but I want you to feel like your left hand moves up and back almost in that position so as we take the club top that's when the lower body initiates the move our left arm moves up and back that's going to keep your levels and allow you to create that power so golfers feel like the upper arm always stays across the chest as we get to top of the bat swing the lower body starts down and the left arm moves up and back and that's going to feel, you're going to feel a real, real tightness between your left arm and chest. And as we start on the downswing, then we're going to release that slingshot almost just as if we're releasing a bow and arrow. So let's hit shot and put that into practice. So, we get to the top of the backswing, the left arm stays across the chest. The left arm moves back the way, so up and back, that's going to create more width. And you're going to feel a real tightness in your arm across your chest, your left arm. And then as we come back, we're going to release all that power into impact. Guys, we're allowing the lower body to move first, the left arm stays across the chest as we get to the top of the backswing. But what's going to happen here is the lower body starts downswing, but instead of our arm moving down towards the ground off our chest, we keep the left arm on the chest and we're allowing our hands to move up and back, but almost in that position so you feel a real tightness and you'll feel it down the kind of right arm. So you're keeping the right arm kind of flexed quite close to our, our right hip and the elbow. And from there, we're rotating the body, so we almost feel like our hips open up. I feel like I'm keeping my left shoulder high on my right. A tightness between our left arm and our chest, and my hands are moving up and back away from the golf ball as long as we keep our levels. And as we come back into impact, I feel like my lower body's starting to downswing first, and my body's kind of standing up as I hit the golf ball on the way through. That's going to create the extension in the body and better angles into impact. So. Guys, if you've got any thoughts on that video, make sure you post your comments below, share the video around with your friends, and also make sure you comment below with what you're struggling on within your game at the moment for future videos on Jamie Allen Golf, and follow me on other social media platforms on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, all under Jamie Allen Golf. Thanks for listening.